we go back a long way with the Mazda Miata. We first drove one in 1989 when there were just two of Mazda's roasters on the East Coast. Later we earned our Sports Car Club of America competition license in one and won our first ever race in one. We have never owned a Miata, but every time we've driven one, it's been like yet another homecoming. Hello, this is John Matris for CarBuzzard.com with another CarBuzzard.com road skill report. This on the 2008 Mazda MX-5 Miata Power Retractable Hardtop, or PRHT. When we lined up this road test, we didn't ask about the transmission. It used to be nearly impossible to get an automatic equipped Miata for testing. The Miata was rightly famous for its slick shifting manual gearbox. But when our test Mazda Miata arrived in a handsome Highland Green with tan leather interior, to our dismay, there was a shift lever of an automatic transmission. Oh no! How could they? Yet there was hope of salvation. Paddle shifters on the steering wheel. We're skeptical, but professionals that we are, we're willing to give this automatic transmission, plus the Miata around it, a fair review. It is a Miata after all. <laughs> Watch your head. Now, we were in interested in testing the Miata with the power retractable hardtop. The Miata has always had a hardtop available, but it was a liftoff bolt-on affair that was convenient as going to Walmart for a loaf of bread. Now, if that Walmart is in Tibet and you don't live in Tibet, and worse, I mean, you have to wait in line once you get there. Now, we have always been satisfied with the fabric top, but with so many other convertibles and roadsters being equipped with hardtops that would section, fold, and slide into the trunk, it seemed that Mazda had to do something, too. The PRHT is a slick operator. The top latches to the center of the windshield header with a single lever, and with the push of a button, back it goes. Unlike most retractable hardtops, however, the entire trunk doesn't open up, but rather a section of the rear deck pantographs up into the rear and the top sections into three parts and spoons together and slides into its well. Amazingly, it takes none of the Miata's precious trunk room, a mere five plus cubic feet, which is just enough to hold an airplane overhead compartment friendly suitcase and with room left over for you know, other stuff. All Miatas come with the same engine. A 2.0 liter double overhead cam 16 valve four cylinder with variable valve timing. With the manual transmission, it's rated at 166 horsepower at 6700 RPM. But with the automatic, such as our test car, it's dialed back to 158 horses. Either way, that's a significant jump from the 1.6 liter original's 116 horsepower. And all of you old timers, does this hood remind you of the MGA? And the top looks a lot like that of the old Lotus Salon. Well, it does to me. Hey, some people find the Miata too snug. Then buy something else, folks. This is a classic sports car, and they're supposed to be small on the inside, or else they'd be big on the outside. Keyless start. Part of a $1,250 option, including Xenon headlights and stability control. an automatic transmission, the Miata scoots. But any automatic worth its salt should be able to be shifted manually. So we move this lever over here to the D and it goes into manual mode. And we can downshift with the thumbs, you know, down for low like on a motorcycle, 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 and we shift up by pulling up on the paddle behind the shift uh, steering wheel. shift.
automatic transmission has a torque converter. And you can see how much the RPM is changing uh, just by putting on the gas and letting off the gas. There's uh, slack being put in and out of the system. And that's, you see it here in the fifth gear at a fairly low speed. But even when we shift down, you know, it's not as bad, but it's still there. rougher than the proverbial car, but the Miata hangs in there, even without the sport suspension uh, option. you find yourself going just one notch a little faster and around entrance ramps uh, just a little quicker and then you find out you wonder why everybody else is driving so dead gum slow. It's possible to get the entry-level Miata SV 5-speed manual for only $20,635. To get a 6-speed manual requires moving up to the Miata Sport with a special option totaling $23,840. To get the $500 Sport suspension package with tuned Bilstein shocks and limited slip differential requires the mid-level touring trim at $24,430. Our test vehicle is a top-of-the-line Grand Touring. With options and delivery, the bottom line comes to $30,650. Now that's a long way from the simple sports car we once knew, but then it has been a long time as well. But still, driving a Miata on the highway, back roads or track, is always like coming home. Home to where the Miata knows my name, and we've known each other for so long. And this is John Matrix with CarBuzzard.com for another CarBuzzard.com Road Skill Report, reminding you the early buzzard gets the roadkill.